Welcome back to our series on the day in the life of a captain. So in our last episode, we examined the captain's role in the correctional facility with Captain Elisa Stiles. On today's episode, we're going to explore the role of a captain in narcotics and SWAT divisions. So let's take a look at a day in the life of a captain with the Shelby County Sheriff's Office. My name is Wes Henson. I'm a captain with the Sheriff's Office. I'm assigned to the Special Investigations Division. It includes narcotics and also the SWAT team. I've been assigned to the patrol division, both as a patrolman and as a sergeant. I've worked in the narcotics division as a detective. I've also worked on um, an FBI task force on, pu on public corruption. Also, I was assigned to the SWAT team. I've been assigned to the training academy and to Homeland Security, and now to our special investigations division. So every morning when I come in, the first thing that we do, at, uh, me along with the, the lieutenants and all the other supervisors, we get together and we see what's going to be planned for that day. Uh, operations planning is the first thing that we cover early in the morning. Who's going to be doing what? What personnel do we need? Do we need to reach out to other divisions for help? Um, just, just what we've got for that day. And then um, most every Monday morning, we go over what we have for the entire week, which is subject, subject to change, of course, but at least we have a blueprint of what the week's gonna look like. Like all captains with the Sheriff's Office, the biggest responsibility uh, in the captain role is budgetary. So your captain in every division controls your, your budget and makes sure that your money's well spent and that everything's accounted for. Uh, you also have the responsibility of overseeing your division, just a day-to-day -to, -day to make sure that everything's running smoothly, your, um, that, your, that your team has everything that they need to be successful. Our teams in special investigations, they have a dangerous job. Their targets are, uh, they usually have violent histories. So before each operation, they conduct a, uh, conduct a briefing uh, so that they have a, an understanding of the the area itself, the target, the target's criminal history, um, the the case, how it's been developed. So during each briefing, I sit in on it. They uh, they they plan it out. They brief it, and if I have any suggestions or recommendations, then I usually insert those. But day to day, they they've always got their eyes dotted and their T's crossed, and so uh, most most all operations run really smoothly thanks to the, the homework that they've done and the, and the briefings they've conducted. Working in uh, special operations, you know, it, it depends on what time your day starts. Some people have a set schedule. They're at work at eight. Sometimes mine starts at six. I mean, this morning our bomb squad had a bomb call out. So I got an early morning phone call. Sometimes we have late night call outs, They're three in the morning, midnight. Uh, so it really depends. Uh, you're not you're not bound to certain work schedule like some areas might be. And so some day some days are early and some of them not so much. Yeah. I think it's very important that we trust the people that we work with. The people who work on the SWAT team and the narcotics division have proven themselves to be trustworthy, responsible, self starters. So. My strategy is to let those people employ the talents that they've been given and to do their job, to lead, guide, and direct, but let them do it without um, telling them, tell them every move to make and to um, do everything that we can to, to help them have the tools that they need to be successful. So before I came to the sheriff's office, I spent three years at another agency. Uh, I saw the sheriff's office as the premier agency in this area uh, with lots of opportunity to be able to, to move laterally. Uh, I'd always wanted to work in the narcotics division and I always wanted to work on the SWAT team. So the sheriff's office provided an opportunity to do both those things. Thanks for watching. We hope you've enjoyed our series on our captains. Tune in for our next installment on the rank of director. Until next time, stay safe Shelby County.